You gotta enjoy these nice, quiet nights. Very serene, very peaceful. Where's the campfire? Why would there be a campfire? I want to have a campfire. Why don't you go start a campfire? All right, fine. I'll go start a campfire. You don't have any tinder. There's shrubs. That goes against the homeowners association. What the HOA don't know won't hurt them. Hey, can I talk to you for a second oh, about something? God, no. You see, I've been watching you. Scouting you is probably a better term. I guess what I'm saying is that you look very capable in a fight, and we need people like you. I'm with the Frontier NCR. Here's a brochure. Read the pamphlet and come visit us, north of Westside. Oh, yeah? Please be discreet. There's a reason we're using pamphlets instead of radio signal. Well, the rest is in the pamphlet. Remember, be quiet about this. Uh, okay. Oh, God, he's trying to get me to enlist in the military. Yeah, re-enlist! No, I'm not re-enlisting. You can't make me re-enlist. Uh, maybe it'll be better this time. I told them, if you want me to re-enlist, you have to give me an armored personnel carrier. All I'm saying is... You have a negative opinion of, of the military, but you are only enlisted once. That's not a very big sample size. You For five years! But one enlistment. That one enlistment was terrible, but that might be an outlier. Wait, who are you anyway? What is this all about? Just read the pamphlet. Gotta go, man. Oliver has eyes everywhere. Stay frosty. Why would, uh, why would Oliver be watching them? Oliver takes a great interest in the things we do. I need a hero! I'm holding up for a hero till the end of the night! And he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be fast, and he's gotta be fresh from the fight! And you could be that hero! When the world cries for a hero, the Frontier NCR calls... A a answers the call! Oh, I screwed it up already! You Welcome screwed it up! No, I'm gonna read it! Welcome to the Frontier NCR, a powerful presence in the old Northwest Common... Northwestern Commonwealth. You'll be joining a courageous, highly skilled organization, one who stands as the last and best defense against the tribulations of the waste. From combating raiders and radiation-born abominations to humanitarian rescue missions. But that's really lame. We don't talk about that part. Is this a pamphlet or a brochure? Come on. Fly a furtive bird. Drive a tank. What are you waiting for? Whether you're seeking adventure, personal fulfillment, or simply searching for a new start, the Frontier NCR is where you'll find unrivaled training, fraternity, and incomparable experiences. Ooh, I do enjoy incomparable experiences. Some side effects include dysentery. Just, just that one. <laughs> just, just dysentery. <laughs> Some side effects include dysentery, sudden bowel movements, nosebleeds, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. And more dysentery. And more dysentery. <laughs> Yeah, you've always wanted to drive a tank, and I've always wanted to see what it would be like if I re-enlisted. I've had nightmares that start that way. Most normal people have nightmares where they're like, oh no, I'm late for school, and I forgot to do my homework. I have nightmares where it's like, oh, you've been late for formation for the last ten years. I get all of those nightmares. Yeah, they're great. I love them. Let's go re-enlist in the military. This won't backfire at all. Normally, we don't walk around when it's this dark out, but this was supposed to be a clandestine covert mission. Was it? Well, well he was saying that we had to be quiet when we went to the Frontier Recruitment Center. Out this way! Come on down, everybody! Ew, a laser RCW. I don't miss the warmth of the Mojave. If I know anything about the military, it's not well-maintained. Again, small sample size, maybe this military is well-maintained. No military is well-maintained. Not a single one. Look how much rust there is on that vehicle. And actually, where there isn't rust, you'll notice that it's painted. I'm a big fan of function over form. It doesn't need to look the prettiest. Did you- oh, you never had to do TA-50 layouts while you were in the military, did you? No, what's that? Oh my god, that's where you have to lay out all of your issued gear, and if there's a single piece of rust on anything, everybody gets yelled at. Mm. We had to do TA-50 layouts for, like, the vehicles, for all the BII, which is basic issued items. Every vehicle was supposed to have its own fire extinguisher, and its own set of chains for the tires, and two wheel chocks, mm -hmm. and an oil pan, and all this other stuff. And none of the vehicles ever had everything, so they would basically get, like, 20 vehicles worth, and when the battalion commander was going down the line and making sure that every vehicle had everything, someone would just go to the vehicle at the front of the line, grab all the stuff, run it down to the vehicle at the end of the line. I, I think you're remembering a poorly maintained military experience. And that's, ev that's every military! Well, maybe not this one. The, in order to clean things so that they weren't dirty and rusty, they would just spray it with black spray paint. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, it must be in good condition because it's completely black. What do you have? What gun is that? Do Let me see. What the hell is that thing? Like, actually, what is that? Stop moving for a goddamn second. Keep smoking your cigarette. It's your union smoke break. What in the actual hell is this thing? This is like an M1 Garand. No, it definitely is not. Is that like a dust cover for the magazine? Well, what is that? Maybe we'll get our own issued to us. Whoa, hold it right there, stranger. State your name and business. Uh, my name is Zuck, but I'm also known as the Courier. What the hell are you guys doing out here? <laughs> hey, Quinn. Ain't that useless jester head in Baker Company calling himself the Courier? Has a scar in his dome, too? Yeah, told everyone he was famous or something. <laughs> Last time I checked, the only thing he was good at was scrubbing the floors. <laughs> so let me guess. Hey. You're the real Courier? He's a Courier. You got me. I'm not real. I'm a ghost. Woo! Ha, ah, very funny. So you're the one who destroyed the Enclave, right? No, oh, you idiot. That was the chosen one. It doesn't matter. So, you're here to sign up for a tour of the frontier? If you're the NCR, why are you recruiting in the middle of nowhere? It's a bit... complicated. But if you want to know the full story, you'll have to sign up with us first. Wow, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Sign me up. Then I hope you are prepared for all of the risks. The frontier is a very unforgiving environment. Uh, this guy survived a bullet to the head. I'm sure luck's on his side. I also survived five years in Fort Polk. I can survive anything. All right. Talk to Lieutenant Gray in the tent. He'll get you sorted. Cool. Thanks for nothing. Thank you for giving us instructions. We needed those. I'm going to take those. I'm taking this and this. Yes? We're here to enlist because we love our country really well i might just hit my daily quota after all whoa, whoa 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 let's hold up for a goddamn second why the hell do you have russian rgd5 grenades <laughs> are you jealous <laughs> you want some no i want to know why he has russian rgd5 grenades when we're in the united states uh, you don't think russian ordinance ever made its way here not like that as far as you know maybe there's a secret stash that they found Maybe that ties into the mission. I, uh... You're obviously not one of these brain-dead grunts. Or your typical merc. Why would you want to go to the frontier? Why fight for us? I'm running out of things to kill. By things, you mean... No, for forget it. I don't want to know. I just need to know that you can follow orders. Do that, and you'll collect 2,000 caps upon completion of the tour. Only 2,000 caps? Maybe that'll work on the other rock farmers who aren't rich as hell. We got a bunch of gold from a vault. And then we got a bunch of gold from a legion stash. And then we got a bunch of gold from the Sierra Madre. And then we got a bunch of gold from... I can't, I can't remember all the places we got gold from. We've got gold from a lot of places. So I guess I need to know more about what we're getting ourselves into. Keep in mind that I can only provide information on a need-to-know basis. Oh, for God's sake. Well, we need to know what we're signing up for. What can I expect out there? Aside from freezing weather and a bunch of lunatics trying to carve you into pieces, not much. Just do as you're told. Dealing with bad weather and dickwads sounds like an ordinary day. Mike, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. So what's in this for the NCR? Is it more genocidal expansion or are you guys looking for something in particular? Well, to be clear, we're not really a part of the NCR anymore. We're exiles. We moved to the frontier to get away from the NCR and the Mojave. We chose to make camp in the frontier due to it being a pre-war city, rich with resources that we would like to make good use of. Wait. But, as of lately, we have been having trouble with the Legion who managed to organize the locals against us. So, so you're not NCR, you're NCR outcasts? Oh boy, I love working for outcasts of organizations. They're never more extremist and violent than the original organization they came from. What can you tell me about the commanding officer out there? If his name is Major Kevin, I will just leave right now. That would be General Blackthorn. He was the one who led us to the frontier. I've known Blackthorn for quite some time. He's a top-notch tactician, and you'll never find a more dedicated soldier. But more importantly, he cares about his soldiers. He cares about them more than the NCR ever have. His men trust him, 
enough to follow him into hell. I do like the sound of an officer that actually cares about the men under his command. Most of them just want a paycheck and promotions. Yeah. Well, I guess those are all the questions I have. So what do you say, soldier? Ready to give a good old-fashioned ass-kicking to the Frontier and the Legion? I mean, just so we're clear, I'm just only doing one. One tour. Unless you get stop lost, but when's that ever gonna happen? Oh god, that actually made me, like, really angry. <laughs> actually, where's a lawyer? I want to have him look over this paperwork. I got it. The military life isn't for everyone. The sooner you take care of business there, the sooner you're back to your normal life here. Whatever that may be. If it takes three days, then congratulations. You've completed the shortest tour in NCR history. This could legitimately be a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour! Alternatively, they could just keep tacking on things to the mission so that it takes the rest of my life. <laughs> what, what, what if mission parameters ever expanded? Never, I, exactly, exactly. Every time! <laughs> if you waste our time, we'll waste yours. That's just how it is. So, what do you say, soldier? Uh, yes, let's do this! We're ready to do this! I can't believe I'm getting shanghaied into this. Now that you're working for the Frontier NCR, you're going to need a uniform. Brass demands that all troopers be geared with standard NCR equipment. It's supposed to promote order and unity or some kind of feel-good crap like that. Which gun do you prefer? Let's see, um, uh, give me your craziest melee weapon! The more ridiculous, the better! No. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> like a little face balm. <laughs> Have this frying pan! <laughs> Alright, let's see, what do we got? Sniper rifle, shotgun, assault rifle, grenade launcher? I think grenade launcher. Oh yeah? I guess the first round's on you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you give me them grenades. You're all set. Hop onto the back of the transport truck when you're ready for the journey. It'll be a long trip, so be sure to bring all essentials. And remember, there won't be any return trips to the Mojave until your tour is completed. All right, sounds like it's time for us to get to work. Oh, boy. What is with the... Drum magazine on this thing. Do grenade launchers not normally have drum magazines? Not like that, no. But sometimes they do? Not usually. Whoa! Okay, I like that grenade. I like that grenade. I want some of these other guns, though. Give me some other ones. You're so greedy! Everyone I else... can't have just a grenade launcher! Everybody else needs firearms, too. All right, soldier, gear up. We're in the army now. Ugh. I didn't know I had a backpack. Yeah. Hold, hold still. Let me look at it. Uh, no. no let me see it. I'm shy. You're let, gonna look at my let butt. Let me see. You're gonna let me at, see. You're gonna look at my butt. Let me see your backpack. No, you want to look at my butt, you perv. Let me see your backpack. I'm not gonna look at your butt. Oh, damn, that is a nice butt, though. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I've always told people that uh, enlisting was a bad idea. Looks like I should have listened to my own advice. Ew, there's a used condom back here! <laughs> oh, oh, gross, 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 <laughs> gross. I don't want to be on this truck anymore. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of the condom. No, oh, gross. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> what the f- oh. oh, good. All oh, my clothes are off. Yeah, it's a hazing ritual. First you gotta get hazed, then you're enlisted. It's going to be a long trip to the frontier. I suppose I could help pass the time by telling our full story. If you're up for a long story, that is. Sure. Regale us! Well, our story mostly began a few years ago, during Operation Sunburst. It was our mission to take Helios One from the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh yes, I heard about that. Oh, what? This is it, boys. The Ten Men are finally on the defensive. It's hard to see with this fog, but, uh, things are looking up for us. You could say looking... bright. Get it? I'm glad your marksmanship is better than your sense of humor, Prof. Maybe we should just send you down there to tell jokes. I'd give old Elijah five minutes till he surrenders. After fighting for five damn long years, if we win this fight, we get to go home. I've been dreaming of this day forever. Hey, Gray. What are you doing again after all this? To be honest, I figure I'll be better off just staying in the army. There really isn't anything, or anyone, for me back home. 
Gray, you're batshit crazy. But that's why we love you, man. Isn't Hardcase doing the same thing? Yep. He's going to stay in the NCR military. Oh, I'll settle for a comfy bed and not having to fend off rad scorpions every time I get up to take a piss. And eat something besides NCR dog chow? Oh, hell yeah. Boys, let me tell you something. I mean, yeah, sleep and food are definitely good. But I got myself a pretty girl back at home. I've been looking forward to this for a real long You're time. You're gonna be the first one to die then. You know, I, I think when I get back, I'm gonna ask that girl to marry me. I even bought this here ring for her. So, you know, might as well go for it, know what I mean? All right, Nomad. Taking the plunge. Holy shit. That must have cost you a year of salary. How dare you support the Blood Diamond no trade? No mad, no mad. <sighs> You're trading one conscription for another, man. Not me, let me tell you. <laughs> Too many pretty faces out there for me to just pick one. Shut up and stop pointing your gun hey, at that guy's Grace. face. Can you do me a favor? What is it? If something happens to me, could you send this ring to my girl? The address is on my wheel here. Also, take care of her, if you know what I mean. I don't trust any of these idiots to do it. You're going to see her again. Don't worry. Yeah, but just give me your word, right? Gray. <sighs> if it will ease your mind, pal, you got it. But after this battle, you owe me a beer. Fair enough. General, sir. Everyone, uh, attention! Everyone, attention! Something, something. At ease, gentlemen. Tonight... The Republic will get another victory to celebrate, and you'll all be sent home to your families. Our objective is to seize control of Helios One, and to capture that bastard Elijah alive. Let me repeat myself. We need him alive. Capture Veronica's mentor, but got it. Before we get to it, know this. I would not have traded you for any other company. The last five years may have been tough, but together we have brought the Brotherhood of Steel to its knees. As always, oh, where the hell I will are those fight sunglasses? You. We fight together, we die together, and we will win together. This is it, men. Prepare yourselves for combat. Wait for it. I think that's the signal. Hey. That's the go. Go, go, go. Weep. Weep. Whoa. Charge. All right. Whoa, boy. All right. Into the main grinder we go. What the hell is this thing? That's the weapon they were using during the siege of the Helios One. Stop shooting your teammate in the back. Oh, oh no, that one had families. They all had families. Over the trench wall, boys. We'll take those crowds by force. They've got that light tower, and it belongs to the NCR. The Austro-Hungarian Empire will fall. I think you flashed back a little too far. For Italy. All right, now let's begin the assault proper. Through the tower. Nothing's going to stop us now. Nothing's going to stop us now. <laughs> if it's Elijah you're looking for, the bastard's already run off. Blah! Gray, the breach team has the interior covered. Get back out there and secure that door. Oh, orders well, have I'm... changed. Uh, okay. Door's secured. Everybody's dead. Oh, is that General Oliver? Gray, they're... There's no easy way to say this. The NCR hospitals and their staff are currently overwhelmed. If they are too injured, you need to put them down. Wait, are we medical professionals in this scenario? I don't know if Gray is responsible enough to do triage. We have too many injured. We don't have the resources to take care of them all. If you find anyone beyond saving... You need to put them out of their misery. Is that our call? You're a general, and he is a soldier. I don't like it either, but it's an order, soldier. We just don't have the men and supplies for all of the wounded. You are giving them a merciful death, if it makes the task any easier on your conscience. As for you, General Oliver has promised me this will be your last fight. After we clean up here... We are to report to Cam McCarran to receive you and your men's discharge papers. I really don't think we should go around killing our own dudes. Even if it is the right call to make logistically, it's not a good look. <sighs> is there a problem? If you can't order your men to do it, then I will. Do you understand? 
Remember, your boys are going home after this. Get it done, Gray. And discreetly. They planned for this contingency. Mm, mm. <laughs> they got plot armor just because they knew you'd go rogue. Yeah, they knew that would happen. All right, this guy right here. Um, I don't see any visible wounds on his body. I think it's dysentery. Wait, is dysentery a fatal thing? Oh, he's just faking. He's, he's fine. Malingering! Punishable by death! <laughs> okay, now it's justified. And this guy, he's having caffeine withdrawal. He's having headaches. He hasn't had a soda in 24 hours. It's, it's really getting to his head. Also malingering! I'm not malingering. I just want a soda. Rah! Why am I the only one doing this? Also, they said you to do it discreetly. You're using a very loud gun. All right, well. Well, that was clean. <laughs> this guy. Okay, that guy probably could have survived a few more attacks. Am I supposed to be killing all these dudes? That's what your order said. All right. Oh, uh, I, I probably only needed to kill the ones who were highlighted. <laughs> no, the other ones that weren't highlighted. <laughs> they were, they were fine. They just had a couple of sprains. Oh no. No war crimes being committed here, boys. I mean, we're already skirting the line. We did it, Gray. <coughs> I made it. Those bastards got me good. They're gonna batch me up now, right? They probably can. We've killed everyone else who needs help. More silver. <laughs> oh, ew. I finally can go home. Jeez. Oh, wow. You really killed all these guys, huh? Look at that guy. Oh, I knew that guy. He had two kids. Little Jimmy had a bar mitzvah coming up. Little Susie. Oh, little Susie was the best. God, is this smell, does this smell like fire to you? It smells like fire to me. Probably because of all the fire. There's a lot of fire here. Oh, oh, on this one right here. Yeah, I remember this guy. He owed me money. You couldn't have waited on this one. Keep me poor, I guess. It's not like, like I joined the military to gain money or anything. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. You really did a number on them. The horrors of war. You sure about this, Gray? Absolutely, sir. There is nothing back for me at home. You don't even like the NCR. <laughs> Well, I figured I'll probably learn more under you than herding cattle back up north. Don't worry. I've made up my mind. Besides, sir, who's going to watch your back? I'm glad you decided to stick around longer. I hope you'll see the NCR isn't all that bad. Hey, you want to head... <sighs> this better not be another false alarm. I think something is really going on. Hey, Sergeant! General, sir. We have received reports that the Legion is invading east of the Colorado. Fort Aradash has already been lost. What? No, not already. The Legion? Aren't they just some primitive tribals? We need to go see General Oliver. Come with me. Oh, this is the first time I learned about the Legion, huh? Elias? Damn good timing. I need you and your men to reinforce Hoover Dam. We've gotten reports that... With all due respect, Lee, I'm not here for that. I'm here for my men's discharge papers. Discharge papers? Ah, yes. You're in charge of the conscripts. They're soldiers, not conscripts. They fought and died for a cause not of their own. It's time we let them go. All right, twist these knobs, poke this thing, uh, use a wrench on this wire. Why am I using a wrench on a wire? You promised them at the conclusion of the Brotherhood of Steel War, they would have earned their freedom. Once I give them their discharge papers, I can lead another detachment to Hoover Dam. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sure you've heard by now. The Legion is trying to push their way into the Mojave. We need every damn soldier we can get to defend Hoover Dam. Listen here! These men were promised that they would be free. I gave them my word. You gave them your word. He's a dick! How can I look them in the face and promise them death? Instead of freedom! You can't do it! How the hell can I do that, Lee? He won't do We've it! We've got to let them go! I understand how you feel, but we need those men, Elias. Boo! You have others, Lee! Contact the goddamn hub if you have to! I shouldn't have to tell you that our presence in the Mojave is on the brink of collapse. We lost too much with the war and the Brotherhood. I need your men to immediately reinforce Hoover Dam. Okay, he makes a good point. That's an order. I'm through taking orders from you, Lee. 
I'll take this up with Kimball. This is Kimball's orders. I've only been relaying it to you. Well, I didn't vote I'm for him. I'm sorry, Elias, but you should be proud. Who would have thought a bunch of ragtag group of conscripts would become such an effective fighting force? You did a damn good job with them. Yeah, we're the best. They should be going home, not off to another goddamn war. They've sacrificed enough. I understand, but we all have our duties. You can't just abandon them. Where do you think you're going, Blackthorn? We're not finished here. If you walk out on us now, it will be desertion. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't. You can run away. What are we going to do now? Get the men together. For Hoover Dam, sir? No. I'm leaving this Republic. Let them fight their own battles. Yeah, man. But Screw them. Put you down for desertion. That's why I need to go somewhere far. Far enough that the NCR wouldn't risk coming after me. What about the rest of the men? Are you going to take them along with you? They can come if they so choose. I'm not going to force anyone to join me in my desertion. This is something I believe I must do. You can always count on me to follow your lead, sir. And yeah, me too! But where exactly are you planning on going? I know of a place far up north. A very cold and unforgiving place. Oh, you too, I love it! But mostly untouched by scavengers. Canada. It would be an ideal place for us to carve out a frontier for ourselves. I can only hope that this will become the driving force that will one day return to the Republic and set things right. And then what happened? And then what happened? Gray. Sir! This is where you're getting off. I have a new task for you. Wesker? Yes, sir. Quinn, John, you two as well. Wait, no, Kaz. And you? I heard you're the courier. Have I heard correctly? Uh, your name seems vaguely Legion-ish. It's not every day I get to come face to face with a supposed legend. Yeah, that's... that's me. Interesting. You'll be reporting to Camp Phoenix. I hope you're the legend they say you are, Courier. And I hope you're not the Legion spy we think you are, Tiberius! Ah, title screen! Fancy! Ooh! Ah, uh, I'm not riding in this truck. I'm not riding it. We'll ride in this truck. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> ride, with, ride with the cargo. I'm just gonna ride with the cargo. I'm not riding with a bunch of used condoms. You know what they're transporting in that truck? <laughs> a bunch of used condoms. Ew! <laughs>